Hello boys and girls, Ant here, and today we're playing uh, Tokyo Shirai Soul Brain, which some of you will know is the game that went on to become Shatterhand for the US markets. Um, I'm being naughty and using an emulator, but it's like 2am on Christmas Day. Um, I've been spending Christmas Day on my own, and i just like been working on the next Mellow Gaming Recommends video, um, you know, things like that. It's been a fairly quiet day because we got put down into um, tier 4 here in the southeast of England, which means you can't really visit anyone and go around anyone else's houses, even family members and stuff like that. So I spent the whole day just on my own, mostly. Matt was in for a bit, he went out, and um, yeah, I guess we're playing Soul Brain now. It is exactly the same game as Shatterhand, just with um, one level looks different, and uh, the main character sprite is different, and that's it. Exactly the same game. But no, I hadn't really thought through what I was going to do tonight for today's video, which I guess this will be Saturday when you watch this. And I thought, you know what? Let's play some Soul Brain. I've got some Tokusatsu on the mind all the time, and I've been watching um, Chojinki Metalda, which is the show that uh, came before this? Because this is based on well, a TV show, unsurprisingly. Um, yeah, Metalda's the show that's before this, I'm sure it is. I can't remember. Because this is one of the shows that, um... You know, these Metal Hero shows were the shows that, uh... What was it? Friggin' VR Troopers was based on. And Metalda's one of them. I'm sure Soul Brain's one of them. I can't remember. I've got... Shader's one of them. There's, like, three shows that they used to make VR Troopers. Metalda's great, though. You should have watched that. The villains are, like, really interesting. They've got, like... You know, just like unique characters, and they've all got some sort of level of pathos to them. And quite often, the main hero, Metalda's like humanity, saves them in some way, makes them sort of rejudge their purpose in life, um, rather than just you know beat them up. I mean, he beats them up a lot. I mean, quite often they end up with their arms being broken and stuff, and it's quite violent for a kids' show, <laughs> like getting their arms twisted around and broken off, and their heads coming off and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's all fun, isn't it? You know, we can kill him from up here. I don't know if any of you guys have played Shatterhand, it's a good game. Just being lazy there. But, um, I did record a little bit of footage for this, for the, um... Hold on. Jump up the wall. How's he do it? I did this yesterday. There you go, you have to press the jump button again. Um, I recorded some footage of this for the last Meadow Gaming Recommends, the Power Rangers one, which, like, you know, it's got some views, hasn't done amazingly, but that's okay. Let's let the thingies destroy that from the back. There you go. Um, but yeah, I used some footage from this on, on that Power Rangers video. Oh, secrets! Never knew about that. Well, that. Am I supposed to find something here? No, I guess not. There's no secret there. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that, that Power Rangers video, if you feel like watching it, give it a watch. The next video is going to be the my top five of 2020. Um, this isn't one of them, because it's you know not a game from 2020. Um, I didn't want to play something new. I kind of feel like when I do these solo Let's Plays, I kind of lean more towards doing retro stuff. Unless there's something new out that you know, might be worth checking out. Something new. On the off chance I brought a new game. God, I'm doing awful. Um, I was tempted to buy Super Meat Boy Forever today, but I've got like a £10 off coupon on the Epic Games Store, so I thought maybe give it a go, but then I remembered how bad I am at it. I mean, you can see how bad I am at this. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe f me um, Super Meat Boy Forever would have been a bad idea. I'm not going to get through this boss. I've got two health. This game is tough enough as it is. Right, he shoots the thing along the floor, doesn't he? No, there's one hit. Look, look, look. Saying that, giving him some hits. He does a thing here. There you go. I remember that. Oh, 
Oh my god, I beat him. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to manage that. Well, I guess we get to see stage two. Actually, you get to see whatever stage you feel like. You get a level selection after this, which is nice. But yeah, I've, um, I've scripted and recorded all the voiceover for a new Mellow Game he recommends in like one day yesterday. Um, I've captured all but one game's footage today. Um, that one, I'm, I'm trying to finish the game so I can do a new game plus to get the early part of the game. Otherwise, I'll just have to start a new save file and play the early part of the game. If, um, slowly. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, let's do the fairground level, because this fairground level isn't in Shatterhand. Um, it's replaced with, like, a sewers level, I believe. Um, if you haven't seen Tekyu Shirai Soul Brain, which is, like, the show this is based on, um, it's one of those shows where a guy has a big metal suit and he punches bad guys a lot of monsters. There you go, glad I could answer that. Can I... I didn't get any points. Oh, no, you need points, don't you? It's the points. You collect the peas. Let's have an alpha. And then you use the peas to get the things on there. Now I remember. God, that's bad of me. Oh, a grenade. Lovely. Now, if I run back, I should be able to use the 100 on here. There you go. I don't know what it did. It's made me invincible for a little while. I'm glowing pink anyway. He never glows pink on the show. I've never actually seen Soul Brain. Actually, Metalda is my first um, Metal Hero series I've watched. I've seen the Galvan movies that they did. They're quite fun. Whoop. Getting too close to them, aren't I? Give me some of that. The Gavan movies are quite good. There's like they basically rebooted Gavan a few years ago, and they recast. Well, they didn't recast Gavan. They sort of there's a new Gavan who's got like he sort of takes over the job from the original Gavan, who's played by uh, Kenji Oba, who's in tons of Tokusatsu. So like he plays two different Super Sentai characters and the original Space Chef Gavan. He's in Kill Bill. He's um he's the assistant to Hattori Hanzo in Kill Bill. Bit of a legend. But he's like a legend of stunt acting and stuff. He used to be a suit actor and then became a lead in a bunch of shows. That's where Metal Hero started. But um, yeah, the, the new Gavan films are fun. If you want to get into Tokusatsu, give give the Uchu KV Ga KG Gavan movie a go. I died there. It's just focusing on my corpse. <laughs> Let's try again. But yeah, the Gavan. The new Gavan movies are fun. Um... There's lots of goofy stuff in it, like when he transforms, the, there's a narrator who's like, uh, Gavan's transformation happens in, in like half a second. Let's see that again in slow motion. And it's just basically almost as fast. Like, you don't really get any extra information from it other than some glowy lines happen. Um, they did a Gavan vs. Gokaija movie, Super Sentai one, where um, they did the same thing for the Gokaijas. Naturally, their transformation wasn't as fast. Yeah, I got health. Right. Jeez, we're hitting our frame limit, the sprite limit there. Jeez, this is... It's too much of it. Too much. Go away. Give me those points. <laughs> Hold on, I'm invisible. I don't know if this... Nez palette's accurate. But then again, it's like... Nez palettes are weird. They're not, um... They're not like regular palettes on games consoles. A lot of it's determined by your signal going to your TV and stuff like that. So there's no real, like, agreed upon palette for NES games. But there's um, a bunch of people who have done, like, you know, their own palettes for them. How can I get up there? Oh, I should be able to go up the wall. Fine, you know what? I don't care. Not, not bothered. But yeah, a lot of people do their own, make their own pallets up for them. A lot of emulators let you try pallets. The pallet that's on the um, the Switch NES thing's pretty. That's that's how I remember it. Like to me, like um, the sky in Super Mario Brothers should be lilac. And if that's the case, then you're set. Were these twin girls in the show? They probably were. I'm just beating up some women. That's fine. 
Oh, where are they going? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, they are serious. Now I'm dead. Two regular ladies in City Pop costumes beat up the super metal hero guy. That's fine. Do I get to start right from there? Yeah, I do. Don't have my power ups. Don't have any power ups anyway. Ah, you can hit them and stop them from firing their thing. Oop. Right, they're going to drop down from the sky. Shh. Oh, have I locked them? Stun lock. Oh, sort of. Locked one of them. I need a jumping kick. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, they're flashing now. That's That's a good sign. Run. Ah, jeez. I'm bad at this game. I said I was going to be. Yeah, this is chill. Anyway, what was I saying about the me new, me new Mellow Gaming Recommends? It's game over. <laughs> new Mellow Gaming Recommends video. I scripted it and recorded it in a day. I've done, for the first time, I've recorded the entire script in one go, sort of. I paused whenever I messed up and then restarted that part of it. Normally I do a paragraph at a time until I get it perfect and I move through each paragraph and do all my audio editing there, but this time I've recorded the whole thing in one go and done the audio edit right there. Um, I don't normally do that. Let's end it there. Start. There you go. Um, normally I do a paragraph at a time, but I've done the whole thing. So it's a bit different. It's probably going to sound a bit more relaxed than the normal Mellow Gaming recommends, and I hope to get it done in the next week or so. It's going to have a lot looser editing style. Don't expect loads of graphics and stuff and all that sort of thing, because um, this is intended to be a quick little end of year rundown thing. Um, but I have actually started the one that's going to be after that, which was going to be before it. I only decided to do this top five one the other day. Um, but the one that's going to be after that, that shouldn't take too long. It's going to be a nice quick episode. Um, it's an indie game that I've been wanting to cover. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching um, my rambling. I really wasn't focused. It's Like I said, it's 2am and I'm... I've, I'm barely awake right now. Um, that's Super Rescue Soul Brain or uh, Teku Shirai Soul Brain. See, I remember. Um, and I'll catch you next time on Mellow Gaming next Saturday. See you later. Bye.